Many vehicle speed measurement systems struggle with accurate measurement at very low speeds. A lot of these systems rely heavily on GPS data and at low speeds GPS data tends to have a lot of noise on it. The higher the sample rate, the higher the noise. For this demonstration we're using two systems, the Race Technology Speedbox INS which combines a tactical grade IMU along with GPS data and the same system supplemented with our GPS2 RTK which is a 2 cm positional accuracy GPS receiver which can get corrections either from a base station at the side of the track or from internet connections. In this case the corrections were coming from a server using the GSM telephone network with the built-in modem. To demonstrate the accuracy of the system two reflective barriers were set upon the ground 20 meters apart. The 20 meters distance was measured with a class 1 measuring tape to give exceptionally good accuracy. The system was then configured to start a measurement on one trigger and to stop the measurement on the other trigger calculating the distance. From looking at errors in the distance we're able to calculate errors in the speed. Laser barrier passing underneath the rear of the car and the measurement starting. We're using two cameras on this vehicle, one looking out of the front and one attached to the rear bumper to see the laser trigger. The overlay is designed to look like the Dash 4 Pro display showing some of the same measurements that were shown in the vehicle, namely the test distance and the distance accuracy as well as the speed of the vehicle. Operating in low range, multiple tests were done in both directions, initially without using the GPS2 system and then with the GPS2 system added. The estimated accuracy figure is calculated automatically by the test system based on a combination of the duration of the test, the estimated accuracy of the combined GPS and inertial sensors and also the trigger start and end conditions. In this table you can see the measured distance, the test duration, the average speed as calculated from the test duration and the distance and then the error percentage and the absolute speed error. When these results are graphed with test speed shown against speed error, we can see that the majority of tests come in with a speed error of below two hundredths of a kilometre per hour for the duration of the test, with no significant increase in error at low test speeds. This shows that the Speedbox INS, along with the Speedbox INS plus GPS2, both exhibit fantastic performance for highly accurate speed measurement at very low speeds, with no significant increase in error even with speeds down to well below one and a half kilometers per hour.